All right, and we're just getting connected. And I believe we are connected. All right. Welcome to Animal Tell the Tales, part of the NEA Tales and Tales Virtual Summer Reading 2021. Thank you for joining us online today and check the schedule for next week's events. If you are not signed up for the reading portion, you can still get signed up to track your reading and earn those prizes. Find the link for book points on our webpage. This program is funded in part by the National Endowment for the Arts. We are also supported by our friends of the library. Today we are enjoying a presentation by Ms. Dwee Williams coming to us live from Oklahoma City. All right, please note that we do have staff members monitoring the comments while this is live. And welcome and let's enjoy the show. Take it away, Ms. Williams. Come. Join me in a story, round and around we share. I'll share my stories with you, and you can share my stories with your family. Welcome to story time. In the tradition of the African griot, Stories are used to share history. Stories are used to teach morals. And very often, animals are used to tell the stories, but they really want us humans to learn the stories. Well, from the beginning, there were no stories on Earth. All of the stories were in the sky, the sky god had them all in a box and keeping them to himself. Well, a Nazi the spider thought, stories should be shared with the people on earth. So he went up to the sky god and he said, what would be the cost of stories so I can take stories to the people on earth? Now, Yame the sky god said, there are four things I'd like for you to bring to me. First, he said, I want you to go and bring me the mighty python. No one had ever been able to do all four of the things that the sky god asked. And so Anansi the spider went down to the earth and he saw the python, and the python was slithering through the grass. Anansi said, this long log that I have is longer than the sky god. The sky god thought, no, that log is not longer than I am. I am certainly longer than the log. And the python slithered close. And Anansi said, well, let me measure. And so the python laid down beside the log. And Anansi said, well, I need you to hold your head still. So I'll just wrap a bit of this cord around here to help you stay still. And the python stretched out and Anansi wrapped his rope. And the python stretched out and a Nazi wrapped his rope. And a Nazi, and the python stretched out. And a Nazi wrapped his rope around the tail of the python. And I bet you know what happened. He took the python, all tied to the rope, up to the sky god. Hmm, said the sky god. So you have brought me the mighty python. Number two, said the sky god, I would like for you to bring me the leopard, the mighty leopard. And so Anansi went back down to earth and he dug a deep, deep pit. And as the leopard came by, he covered it. So the leopard was not aware 
that it was a deep pit. And on top of the pit was the leopard's favorite thing to eat. And the leopard leapt for his food and down into the pit he fell. And you know, a Nazi said, hmm, looks like you're way down there in the pit, but I'll help you get up. And so he threw a rope and the leopard began to climb up the rope. But as he reached the top, a Nazi wrapped the rope around the leopard. And you know, the leopard was taken up to the sky to Naomi, the sky god. And that was number, number two. Now the sky god had the leopard and he had the python. Number three said the sky god, I would like for you to bring me a swarm of hornets. And so a Nazi the spider went and gathered a large gourd and he cut the top off so it was hollow. And as the hornets came around, a Nazi said, Oh my goodness, I have smelled in the sky and I have heard that there will be a mighty rain today and no one will survive. But perhaps if you go down into the gourd, you will be safe from the rain. And so the hornets quickly flew down into the gourd and Anansi the spider closed the top of the gourd and you know away he went back up to the sky to Naomi the sky god and gave him the gourd that was full of the hornets and now that is three the sky god has the python he has the leopard and he has what that's right he has the swarm of hornets but there were four things that the sky god requested. The sky god said, now I need the fairy. This one would be difficult for a Nazi. A Nazi went out and he carved a doll of wood and he covered that doll with sticky gooey honey. And as the fairy flew by, she smelled the honey. And she said, Anansi, could I have some of the honey? And Anansi said, well, ask the fairy. And she did. May I have some of the honey? May I please have some of the honey? And the doll never answered. And the fairy said, let's send to me. I want some of the honey. But the fairy's hand was stuck to the sticky doll. Well, listen to me, said the fairy. I and now both of her hands were stuck to the sticky doll. Well, and she tried to kick and her foot was stuck and she kicked with the other foot and now both of her hands and both of her feet were stuck to the sticky doll. And you know, Anansi took the doll with the fairy stuck to it up to Naomi, the sky god. Can you remember the four things that the sky god asked for? First, he asked for the, that's right, the python. And second, he asked for the, you got it, the leopard. 
And third, he asked for, right, a swarm of hornets. And last, he asked for, you got it, the fairy. The sky god Naomi <laughs> could not believe. Anansi was the first one to bring all four of the items. And so, Naomi handed the box with all of the world's stories enclosed. And Anansi took those stories down to the earth. And that is the African tale that tells us how stories came to the earth. So now the stories are on earth with us because Anansi the spider went to the sky god and got them. So now ah, I have a story to share with you. First, we have to get ready. This is the story of El Conejito. Oh, that means rabbit. And this means rabbit. This is the story of El Conejito and his Tia Monica. Well, there's a song that you have to be able to sing to help me with the story. So raise your hands and you're just gonna go back and forth like this as we sing, I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica, and when she goes out dancing, they all say, ooh la la. Let's practice again. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica, and when she goes out dancing, they all say, that's right, ooh la la. Well, school was out for the summer. And El Conejito, the rabbit, was free for the summer. His mama said, El Conejito, would you like to go up the mountain to your Tia Monica? She will feed you. She will feed you cakes, and cookies and candies until you are as plump as a butter ball. So up the mountain went El Conejito, dancing and singing. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, Oh la la! And soon El Conejito the rabbit came upon the fox. And the fox said, Oh, El Conejito! El Conejito! I think I have found my lunch. Oh no! said El Conejito. I am a flaquito, flaquito, flaquito. And that means skinny, skinny, skinny. But I'm going up the mountain to my Tia Monica and she will feed me. She will feed me cakes and cookies until I am as plump as a butterball. So up the mountain he went, dancing and singing. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, that's right, ooh la la. And soon he came upon El Tigre, the tiger. And the tiger said, oh, El Corito, El Corito, I think I have found my lunch. Oh, no, oh, no, said El Corito. I am 
Flaquito, flaquito, flaquito. Skinny, skinny, skinny. But I'm going up the mountain to my Tia Monica and she will feed me. She will feed me cakes and cookies and candies until I am as as a butterball. So up the mountain went El Conejito dancing and singing. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, Ooh la la. And soon he came upon El Leon, the lion. And the lion said, El Conejito, El Conejito, I think I have found my lunch. Said El Conejito, I am. But I'm going up the mountain to my Tia Monica and she will feed me. She will feed me. until I am as, as a butterball. But you may eat me when you come back. And up the mountain went El Conejito, dancing and singing. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, ooh la la. And soon he comes upon his Tia Monica. And Tia Monica feeds El Conejito all summer long. She feeds him. Until he is as, as a butterball. And soon the summer came to an end and it was time for El Conejito the rabbit to go home. El Conejito said, I cannot go home. If I go back down the mountain, then El Leon, El Tigre, and El Zorro the fox are going to eat me up. Tia Monica says, don't worry, I have a plan. And she took El Conejito and she put him down into a big barrel. And she rolled him down the mountain. Can you help me roll? Rodando, rodando, rodando. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Rodando, rodando. Ah! And it stopped right at the feet of El Leon, the lion. And the lion said, Barolito, Barolito, have you seen El Conejito? No, I have not seen El Conejito, but the mountain is on fire and you should run for your life. And he ran as fast as he could. And the barrel rolled down the mountain. Rodando, 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 and it stopped directly at the feet of a tigre, the tiger. And the tiger said, Berlito, Berlito, have you seen El Conejito? Berlito, Berlito, have you seen El Conejito? No, I have not seen El Conejito, but the mountain is on fire and you should run for your life. And the barrel went down the mountain. 
Redondo, 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 and the barrel stopped directly at the feet of. That's right, Zorro. Barolito, have you seen El Conejito? I have not seen El Conejito, but the mountain is on fire. You should run for your life. And the barrel went down the mountain. You know, Rodando, 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 and the barrel stopped directly at the feet of Mama. Mama said, oh, El Conejito, El Conejito, what have you done? He said, all summer long, my Tia Monica has spared me. She has spared me. And now I am as plump as a butterball. I have a sweet old auntie, my Tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, Oh la la. And so, if you have a Tia Monica, an auntie or an aunt, who feeds you cakes and cookies and candies all summer long, don't forget to brush your teeth. And that's the story of El Conejito. Let's see what's next on our story list. <gasps> Pick and peas. Do any of you like peas. I kind of like peas. But this summer, I decided to grow with my little friends some peas. And so the story called Picking Peas came up. And now I'll share it with you. There was a little girl and she had planted peas. And she was out in her garden and she was walking down the aisle, checking her peas to see if they were ready to be picked. If a pea was ready to be picked, she would pick the pea and put it in her bucket. So she was picking peas, put them in my bucket, picking peas, put them in my bucket. And if it was too small, she would leave the pea for the next day. Well, one day, as she was picking peas and putting them in her bucket, picking peas, put them in my bucket, picking peas, put them in my bucket, picking peas, falling on the knees. What? Did you hear that? She said, picking peas, put them in my bucket, pick Picking peas, on and on the knees. What? There was someone coming down the roads of the garden behind the little girl. And so she tipped to the end of the row. And when she got to the end of the row, she quickly ran down the next row and came up behind. Who is that? Is that a fox? Is that a chicken? Is that a goat? <gasps> That's El Conejito, the rabbit. 
said. And so she tipped up behind him as he was singing. Picking peas, falling on my knees. Picking peas, falling on my knees. Picking peas, falling on my knees. And she caught him. And she took him. He was kicking and screaming. And she took him into the house. She said, I'm going to put you into a box. And I'm going to close the top but I am gonna poke some air holes and I'm gonna keep you in the box until the end of pea picking season. And so she took the rabbit into the house. She put him into the box and she closed the top. And it wasn't long before she heard flat, flat, for lap I'll change, for lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. I'm tapping, I'm tacking, boogie, woogie, 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 I'm tapping. And she thought, what is that rabbit doing? And she listened. For lap, for lap, for lap I'll change, for lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. I'm boogie, woogie, woogie doing a tap dance. And she thought, I would like to see what he's doing. What are you doing in the box, Mr. Rabbit? Why, I'm tapping and I'm really good at it. If you let me out of the box and just sit me on the table beside the box, then you can see my boogie woogie tap. Do you think there's a trick? Well, let's just see. And she opened the box and out jumped El Corejito. And he sat right there on the table beside the box, just like he said he would do. And he began to tap. For lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. For lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. I'm boogie, woogie, woogie, I'm boogie, woogie, woogie, doing a tap dance but you know what there's more to my dance said el conejito the rabbit but i need a little more space well if if you'll just sit me over there on the long windowsill then i can show you my slide Should we trust the rabbit? Hmm, why not? And so she took the fluffy rabbit who had been stealing her peas and she sat him on the windowsill where the fresh air was blowing in through the windows and the rabbit began to dance. For lap, for lap, for lap ball change, for lap, for lap, for lap ball change. For lap, for lap, for lap ball change. Boogie, boogie, woogie, woogie, boogie, woogie, 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 boogie, woogie, 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 slide. And out the window jumped the rabbit. And he ran away singing, a boogie, woogie, woogie, a boogie, woogie, woogie, a boogie, woogie, woogie, slide. Now you would think that if the El Conejito got away one day, he wouldn't be back again. But the next day, the little girl was out picking her peas and putting them in her bucket. Picking peas, put them in my bucket. Picking peas, put them in my bucket. And she heard Something coming behind her. For lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. For lap, for lap, for lap I'll change. Boogie, woogie, woogie, slide. And the rabbit continued to come back all summer long and eat the pea. I wonder if the little girl ever learned a lesson. 
from the rabbit. Another story? You want another story? Well, we're telling animal stories, right? Well, I like turtles. I mean, I had a turtle for a pet one time. And he was really pretty, yeah, he was smart. Let's tell a story about a turtle. There was a turtle. And early in the morning, he would look up into the sky and he would see the eagles flying through the sky. Oh, I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly like like the eagles up in the sky. Now you know, you know, you know that you know, you know that you know that that's right. Turtles, there's the turtle. They cannot fly. But the turtle never gave up on his dream. So every morning he would look up into the sky and he would see the eagles flying by. Oh, I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly like the eagles up in the sky. And the turtle Day after 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 day day after day after day after day after day he wished that he could fly. The eagles finally said, Woo! This turtle is getting on our nerves. So I don't know what else to do but try to take him up in the air and let him see that he can't fly. So the eagles flew down to the turtle and they said, hey, dude, we've been listening to you for months and months and months and months dreaming about, I want to fly, 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 like the eagles in the sky. So, said the eagles, we are going to take the turtle for a flight. And so they went off and they found a stick, a nice, straight, strong stick. And they went to the turtle and they said, turtle, I want you to grab a hold to the middle of the stick. And no matter what, don't let go. What did they tell the turtle? Don't let go. And so the turtle held onto the stick as tight as he could. And then they said, now I want you to bite the stick and hold on to the stick with your teeth as tight as you can. And so the eagles took off flying and the turtle was holding on to the stick with his hands as tight as he could. And in his head, whoops, hold on to the stick. And in his head, he was singing. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings, I fly away. And as they were flying, the turtle looked down and there were a bunch of kids down there playing on the playground. And they looked up in the sky and they saw the turtle. <laughs> Look at that turtle.
turtle. <laughs> hey, turtle. Don't you know that turtles cannot fly? What are you doing up there in the sky? And in his head, the turtle said, they don't know what they are talking about because I am a flying turtle. And the next day, the eagles came by and they picked the turtle up and he knew exactly what to do. He held on to the stick as tight as he could and he bit the stick between his teeth and he held on as tight as he could. And in his head, for the second day, he sang, I believe I can fly. Oh, I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings, I fly away. And there are those kids right down there looking up at the turtle. And you know what they did. <laughs> ah, Do you see that turtle up in the sky? We told him yesterday that he could not fly and here he is back again and he thinks that he's about to be up in the sky flying well the turtle looked down and he saw those children laughing at him and he thought i told them yesterday and now i'm gonna tell them the real deal hey hey you kids you don't know what you're talking about because i am a flying whoop I could go to the floor because this is where I am now. I'm a blind turtle. And now, can you guess why the turtle has cracks in his shell? <laughs> he enjoyed it, but it's because the turtle thought that he could fly. And that's the story of the flying turtle. Let's see. A snake and a frog. Well, the snake lived on one side of the farm and the frog, he lived on the other side of the farm. But you know, mamas, mamas are so much alike. No matter whether it's a mama frog or a mama snake or a mama goat or a mama mama like my mama mama. So early in the morning, the snake got up and he said, mama, 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 can I go out into the field to the big opening and play? And the mama said, well, yes, you can. But there are a few things you must remember. First, do not talk to strangers. Repeat after me. Do not talk to strangers. Okay. Don't go far from home. Don't go far from home. And don't be out after dark. So there were the three things. And so the snake went out, slide and slide and slide till he came to the big opening out in the field. And he was just sliding and playing. And on the other side of the farm lived the frog. And the frog had gotten up and said, Mama, Mama, can I go out and play in the big opening out there in the field? A mama is a mama is a mama is a mama. And she said, yes, but 
there are three things that you must remember. Number one, do not talk to strangers. Number two, don't go far from home. And number three, do you remember what number three was? Yeah, don't stay out after dark. And so the frog went out to play. Hop, 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 hop. And he came to the big grand opening out in the field and there was the snake slithering, slithering. And the frog said, what in the world is he doing? Hey, Mr. Snake, what, what are you doing? Well, I am a snake, he said, and snakes like to slither and slide. I wish I could learn to slither, said the frog. And so the snake taught the frog how to slither. And so the frog went, hop, hop, Slither, hop, hop, slither. Wait a minute, said the snake. Well, I would like to learn how to hop. And so the frog taught the snake how to hop. And so the snake went slither, 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 hop. Slither, 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 hop. Uh-oh. The sun is going down. And both of their mothers told them not to stay out after dark. And so the snake left slither, slither, hop. Slither, slither, hop. Slither, 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 hop, hop. Where have you been, said the mother snake. I was out playing. I met a brand new friend and he taught me how to hop. Who taught you how to hop, said the mother snake. He was a frog. Don't you know that frogs and snakes do not get along together? Don't you ever, 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 ever play with a snake again? And he went to bed. And the frog, he went home, hop, 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 slither, slither, Hop, 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 slither. And his mama said, first of all, the sun is going down and you're awfully late. And then you're a frog and you come back here sliding. But I met a brand new friend and he taught me how to slide. And who was the new friend you met? It was a snake. Don't you know that snakes will eat a frog? Don't you ever, 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 ever play with a snake again. Well, the next morning, both the snake and the frog got up early and they both wanted to do the same thing again. And so the snake went out to play, but he remembered, do you remember? Don't play with strangers. Don't go far from home and don't stay out after dark. And he went to the big opening in the field and along came the hopping frog. And the frog's mother had told him the same thing. Don't talk to strangers. Don't go far from home and don't stay out after dark. And so when the frog came up, the snake said, my mama said, don't ever, 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 ever play with a frog again. And the frog said, well, my mama said, don't ever, 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 ever play with a snake again. Well, said the frog, I'm going home before I get in trouble. And the snake said, I'm going home before I get in trouble. And so the snake went home. He went. And then he looked back and, and he remembered the fun he had with his new friend, the frog. 
And so the snake went, oh. And the frog went home, hop, hop, hop. And he looked back at the snake and he remembered how much fun he had with his new friend, the snake. And he went, slide. You know what? If you make a good, good friend, no matter what the differences are, you will never forget a friend. And there's one last story. It has been hot in Oklahoma. And one summer, they didn't have the rain like we've been having this year. It was just hot and dry. It was so hot and dry. And the pond, the pond was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And the frog thought, Oh my goodness, if the pond continues to get so small, then I won't have a place to swim and I won't have a place to wash my clothes and I won't have a place to get water to water my plants. But he remembered. He remembered that his great wise grandfather said, if you sing, the rain come down song, then the clouds will release the rain and that will fill the pond again. And so the frog stood all by himself and he looked up to the sky and he began to sing. Rain. Rain, rain come down. But it didn't rain. But close there was another village. And in that village was the village of elephants. And he went to the elephants and he said, would you help me? Would you help me sing for the rain to come down? And so, some of you decide to be elephants with me for this story and help me sing. And so the elephants began to sing, along with the frog. Rain, rain, rain come down. They sang rain, rain, rain. Rain, but nothing happened. So the frogs and the elephants went to yet another village. And in that village lived the lions. And they said, would you please help us sing so that the rain clouds will release the rain. And they began to sing the lions and the elephants and the frog. Rain, boom, boom, rain, boom, boom, rain come down. They sing rain, rain. And still the rain did not come down. Well, who else is out here, they thought. And they came upon a family of, who do you think that is? Bears. And the bears said, we'll sing along with you. And so the bears and the elephants and the frog all sang together. Rain. 
rainbow foam who rain come down they sing rain 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 Oh, man. And nothing happened. But then they came upon a flock of birds. And the birds said, we heard what your dilemma was, and we came to help you, to help you sing. And so the birds and the bears and the lions and the elephants and the frogs all began to sing together and it was a glorious choir. Can you help us sing? If you're a lion or a bear or a bird, join in and help us sing or an elephant. Rain, rain, rain come down. Where's the rain? Rain. Do you? The rain, it's falling. Do you see the rain? Because we all join in and worked together, that made the rain come down. And so today, remember, if we all join hands, and work together, we can get things done. And if you meet a friend, it can be a good friend for life. And if you have the dream of doing something like flying, follow your dream. Who knows? You might become an astronaut. And if you want something like the stories to come to the earth, just ask and your wish might be granted. So long, farewell. It's time to go away, away. So long, farewell, it's time to go away, away. Would you share a story from today? Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining us today. You may get entered into our library raffle drawing by entering the secret code into book points. That's the same spot where you track your reading. All right, today's secret code, here it is. It's the word stories. So S-T-O-R-I-E-S, -E stories. And make sure there's still time to sign up for next week's Broadway dance. We have the kids version on Tuesday and the teen version on Wednesday. Once again, thank you to the National Endowment uh, for the Arts for sponsoring this program. Thanks and have a great day.